Okay guys, so we just came from the Pitan. We are in a place that's actually full of really great fabric. Tell us the Mercato. Yes. How did you find this? I decided to challenge myself to visit places within a five kilometer radius within my house because I think sometimes we feel like we have to go so, so far. far. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to challenge myself to do the things near that I've wanted to yes. do. And so I was like driving by it and I thought, okay, pull over, let's go. Today is the day and luckily I had my camera with yeah. me so I could vlog about it. Telas de Mercato in Mandaluyong is truly a haven not only for interior designers, but for anyone planning to dress up their home. With its quality fabrics at affordable prices, we're sure to ace our challenge of finding items to help us revamp a space. So we are going to pick out fabrics for a throw pillow, okay. an armchair, curtains, and an art piece to use fabric oh, I like this. as like a deco. Super cool. Um, I like the idea of using it as an artwork. Yes. Because I've never done that. So let's go? <laughs> yes, let's right. go. Okay. Fabric is a really excellent medium to use when you're decorating your own space. Fabrics are a way that I can take it on and make it my own. And that doesn't mean I need to change the architecture, the landscape, whatever, but adding these bits of my own design and philosophy to the space. So I love to go to the sales section first. As soon as you walk in, yes, exactly. I can wear this. Us. So this is oh. what I'm gonna go with. I'm partial. I tend to be you partial. Look bright colors. I do. I love like a white plain background and a very, very bright pops of color. <laughs> I am partial to like a bright pink coral color. Nice. I do like really plain white. White with then... really loud. But that works yeah. if you have a house full of kids. I... Because their toys are so colorful. Ex and they can't have um, light colored furniture. No. It's just gonna get dirty. So what I can do is leave the walls white and I have really nice lighting in my house. And then house. you have like leftover paint on the side so every time they draw on the wall it's just... Just paint over it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Here are a few simple techniques to help you spruce up your space. Throw pillows. Those are like, you can rotate them out and don't get rid of them. So what would you do Potted. with this? This, I would do a throw. I don't love the idea of a couch for this or any type of furniture. Yeah, because furniture. stuff will get caught Ex in it, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. We'll use this for the throw pillow today. Okay. And to be honest, I'm super inspired with this color right here. Like you definitely so have, bright. I know, it's so bright. So we're gonna go upstairs. Let's go upstairs and find something bright to pattern this with. Okay. You can spice up furniture. To me, there's almost nothing more exciting than a really fun patterned armchair. If you're really bold, you'll go for a full-on designed sofa, but if you're more careful with your design, then just a patterned armchair is a great way to do that. So I tend to go for brighter colors, and I really want something that contrasts with yeah. this, like a soft pink coral, and I want to actually do Oh my god, that's I know, crazy. I know, but when you put <laughs> it with like a really light colored background, it can really stick out. So, for example, we could have this, and this is amazing material. This could be the armchair, or it would make a really nice accent chair. Yeah. It's a bright color. This other one too, which is really, really is nice. grandma couture and grandma couture. This one? This one? No. no, this is one that I had seen earlier, and this is like you're really taking it to town if you put that together. I know. It could it's be like asthma central. <laughs> but <laughs> sorry. I'm like, oh yeah. my god, but it's true. It's nice. I like this color though. So that's why it's really important you pick your style. I actually wouldn't put this in my house, but I like the idea of them that's being cute. together. This is, this is probably actually the winner. Find a really beautiful pattern fabric that you like and frame it. Have it matted or just have it stretched on a canvas and use that as a piece of art. So what are we doing next? Okay, so let's move on and find some really, really vibrant or distinct patterns that would look good as wall pieces, decor okay. items. That sounds fun. So that you can either frame or that you can have stretched on a canvas. Are we looking for something that is gonna work with this or not necessarily? Let's try it. Let's bring let's bring these along and we'll colorful try it. House. It okay. is a colorful house. I'm not All gonna right. go I'm not gonna go plain with the art. <laughs> If you are any type of creative who does use fabric as a medium, put it on display. Don't hide it away. Put it in baskets, put it out in shelves, and use it as a way to display. It ends up being an accent piece to the room, but also it shows who you are as an individual. 
So guys, this is a great example of how fabrics can literally brighten your home. I think this is so bright, we probably need shade. Right? That's what's great about fabrics. They can be really transient or long-term, and they can be affordable and exactly. really make your space your own and make it a happy space. Perfect. Major renovations can be expensive and inconvenient, but just follow our simple trick and use fabric. In no time, you can freshen up your home and customize it according to your mood. Up next, lights, camera, action. Bid your way in acquiring breathtaking pieces of art and jewelry.